I found some free ways to create a logo for you in less than one minute. So first off, if you already have your brand or company idea, but you're not very creative, you can head over to this website right here, ChatGPT. And what we're gonna do with this is get an AI art generator text prompt that we're gonna use in the future. So you're gonna start off by typing this prompt right here in ChatGPT. Give me a creative AI art generator text prompt for a logo. And then we're gonna say what our brand or company idea is. I'm gonna do a Maya Mai company that sells fireproof matches. It's just a genius idea. And then I want my logo to include some text. So I'm gonna say that has the text and I'm gonna call my company Fireflop. And I wanna put that in quotes. And then if I hit enter, you can see it spits out this long text prompt that we're gonna use. So we wanna copy this. And now we're gonna to head to the website that is gonna generate our AI logo here. And it is this website right here. This is the one of the better ones that I've seen that does text. And I think you only get about 20 generations per day on this website, but that should be plenty for us. All we're gonna do now is just paste in the text prompt that we got from ChatGPT and hit enter. And you can see here, it gave us four different logos that we can choose from. We got some basic one right here. We got one with the background. I don't know how that will you know, work. The Tropical Waves Connectify. Yeah, we're not gonna use that one for sure. Um, this one doesn't look bad, but if you don't like any of these, you can always go back to ChatGPT and we can check out the prompt. It says a vibrant modern logo. Let's say we want an emblem logo instead. All we have to do is just tell it to create that. All we have to do is say, make it an emblem logo. And you can see it just created some more text for us. Again, all we have to do is copy that, go back to Ideogram, paste it in there and press enter. And I can see we actually have some decent looking logos here. I mean, they all kind of look the same, but they're not bad. And again, if you want to make any changes to your prompt, you can either type it in yourself right here or just go back to chat GPT. Let's say include some matches in the picture. Again, we'll copy the text, go back, press generate. And bam, we got our fireproof matches here. Who's ready to invest in my company? Just type in the comments if you're ready. And if you ever reach your limit on that Ideogram website, you can always try out Microsoft's Copilot by going to this website. And then on the right hand side, you're going to click on designer because we want to design a logo. And again, we can just take the prompt that we had in ChatGPT, copy it again, and paste it in this little text box down here that they have. And if I hit enter, you can see it also gave us four logos. Well, kind of three. I wouldn't use this one as a logo necessarily. And it actually did the text better than usual. But one cool thing I like about Microsoft's Copilot is you can actually click on one of these that you like. Let's just go with this one. And you can actually select different elements within the logo itself. So let's say I wanna click on the flame and I can make it color pop. Sure, looks good. And I can even select from these little three dots up here. And if you hit edit in designer, it'll actually open it up in Microsoft's designer app where you can, you know, use all these other tools like remove background. And there we go. And you also have all these filters over here and you can adjust the brightness, contrast, you know, text if you want more text on it. And yeah, just go crazy. Let's add a shape on here. Why not just cover the whole thing up. And before all the artists come running to my comments to shame me for using AI art generators, listen, I am not a lawyer. I do not know copyright law at all. So if you are a brand or legitimate company that is trying to use these AI art generators for a logo, I recommend you just fork up the money and actually pay someone to generate a logo for you. Go to a website like this, Fiverr or something similar and just pay one of these artists to design you a logo. I mean, look, 20 bucks. These don't even look that bad. We out.